video instructions for Programmat Chapter 11 using the Digital Shade Assistant. This chapter shows you how the Digital Shade Assistant works and how you can use it for digital tooth shade selection. This function is only available with certain Programmat furnaces of the latest generation. The shade selection process consists of two parts, a clinical part and technical part. Begin by selecting the reference teeth and taking a photograph of the patient's teeth. First, insert an OptorGate lip and cheek retractor into the patient's mouth. This allows you to obtain a clear view of the patient's tooth necks and eliminates any shadow in the incisors. OptorGate also facilitates the shade selection process. Make sure that the teeth are well moisturized and do not look dry. Now, select the three shade guide teeth that are closest to the patient's teeth. The Digital Shade Assistant, or the DSA for short, is suitable for both the upper and lower jaw. The DSA is compatible with various shade guides from Ivo Vividen. Please consult the operating instructions for further information. Insert the three selected reference teeth into the DSA holder with their tooth necks pointing upwards. It is advisable to carry out the next step with the help of a second person. Proceed as follows. Place the reference teeth as close as possible to the tooth being analyzed. Make sure that the teeth are lined up on the same plane. Avoid light reflections on the teeth. Pay attention to the composition of the picture. The patient's mouth, the reference teeth, the labels on the shade tabs, and the markings in the upper two corners of the DSA holder should be at the center of the picture and shown as large as possible. Now snap your photographs. The quality of the photographs will determine the validity of the DSA analysis. Preferably, take the photographs using the camera's autofocus and macro function without flash. Generally, any conventional digital camera or high-quality smartphone camera can be used to take the photographs. Image differences which may result from specific types of cameras or brands are normal and will be balanced by the DSA software in line with the reference teeth. Once the photographs are taken, they can be sent as a JPEG file via email, USB stick, or SD card to the user of the programmat furnace. Press the Digital Shade Assistant button on the membrane sealed keypad of the furnace. There are different options for uploading the pictures onto the furnace. If the photographs are transferred to the furnace by means of the Progrobase X10 computer software via a Wi-Fi or LAN connection, they are stored in the internal memory of the furnace. If you use an external data carrier such as a USB stick or SD card to transfer the photographs, you will find them in the external memory. Let's assume that the photographs are saved on a USB stick that is connected to the furnace. Begin by pressing the external memory button. Open the desired folder and select the correct picture by using the arrow buttons. You can see a preview of the photograph on the left side of the display. Press the green button to analyze the picture. Analysis will now begin. If the software cannot automatically read the shade labels on the reference teeth, you can select them manually. The result of the automatic analysis is now shown. The Digital Shade Assistant automatically recognizes the reference teeth and the tooth to be analyzed. The black rectangles indicate the area to be analyzed on the reference teeth. The blue rectangle indicates the area to be analyzed on the patient's tooth. Next to the blue square, the shade of the reference tooth that is closest to the analyzed tooth is displayed. Click the manual button if you want to change the area to be analyzed. Then you can use the blue box to scroll to the area that you wish to be examined. You can change the position of the areas being analyzed between dentin, cervical, and incisal by repeatedly clicking on the button. The right panel of the display shows two diagrams. The diagram on the left shows the brightness of the three reference teeth and the tooth being analyzed. The diagram on the right shows the color saturation of the three reference teeth and the tooth being analyzed. 
an error message will be displayed if the difference between the patient's tooth and the reference teeth is too large. You can analyze any area as many times as you wish. Use the arrow keys to toggle between the automatic analysis and the manual analysis last performed. You can move or change the image section with your finger. By double-clicking, you can enlarge the picture and start a manual analysis to obtain a detailed analysis of a specific area. Press the full screen view button to look at the picture in full screen mode. For further information, please consult the operating instructions of the furnace or the accompanying documentation of the Digital Shade Assistant.